Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to the close of Secondhand September AU and the Participant Prize Draw. So my mini make along in September was designed for you to repurpose, reuse, make something old, new again. And let's stop putting things into landfill and try and fix things or make things fresh. For me, remember, I went out and I bought some old coat hangers from a um, op shop, charity shop. Um, and I'm going was going to recover them for an old lady who comes to my market stall at the markets. And I'll be doing a market next weekend. And I've managed to do two. And it's not as easy as it looks. So this was one I started when I was on holidays and I used some of the yarn that um, my friend Janice gave me. This is Carnival 8 ply and that was one of the designs in the books that I bought, the pattern books I bought from a charity shop. And then another design, look, they're not perfect by any means, is this one where you thread ribbon through it. The ends for me are a bit, you know, off but I'm sure she'll like them and they're the two that I've done. Now last night I did do a third one but I was so busy watching television I made it massive and I've had to undo it all. But I will get the other two covered that I still have left to go because I had four before next week and I will give them to her. I won't sell them. They're just something for me to experiment with. But I do think covered coat hangers are a good little stocking filler gift for Christmas or a secret Santa gift because we can always use coat hangers for our clothes and as the old lady said to me she likes them because you don't get those coat hanger marks in your clothing that there is foam in there because what I did was I took the satin off and I just covered the foam that's in there because the satin is a bit grotty and starting to split but yeah I'm starting to think, even though some people think they're old-fashioned, they're still very useful and make great little gifts, secret Santa gifts. Now, the other thing was, years ago, I, um, I took part in making something when I first started my um, podcasting. It was like, take your oldest yarn and make a project. Now, this yarn I'm about to show you will be 42 years old because it was a, a cot blanket my sister made for my eldest son and he turns 42 next week. And originally I made this cleaning cloth and then I started making something else and I forgot about it. And in my yarn stock cleanup, I've come across this forgotten whip at the bottom of a great tub of yarn and I'm going to finish it. So this is the yarn because what happened was the cot blanket she made started to come unraveled. Sorry, I've got hiccups. It's Peyton's Crafty. Now that feels soft, but made up, it was a little rough. I know she was disappointed, but 42 years ago, yarn wasn't a big choice. And I, when I started, I watched a lot of Bag O'Day and was making Bag O'Day bags, and I started making this one. I think I was, I didn't put a progress keeper in it when I found it. I think I was about to there. And I'm going to finish it and just, I don't know, either give it away to charity or, um, yeah, I don't think I'll use it. But I've decided I'll make this little, I might make a long strap. I'll do something with it and show you when I finish it. But that was my 42-year-old yarn frogged and made into that. I started, decided I'm going to finish that whip. Now, the other thing that's really weird, and I only thought of a little while ago, because he's back out there working on it, is we've been looking at getting a new front door. Now, not a lot of people come to my front door. They come to my side door. But it is a really old house, and the front door does need fixing or replacing. It's got a lot of glass. When I had... The lounge room renovated the tiler broke one of the glass glass panes some of the other little ones have cracks in it and i always thought it would be nice to get a lead light door which is virtually impossible where i live and we did get some commercial quotes for a door a front door at the house because 
it's an unusual size. You can't just go into a hardware store and say, I'll have that door because it won't fit. Now, the price was, asked, well, do you think $5,000 for a front door is a bit much? And since the cost of living has gone up, it's getting, the quote is getting closer to $6,000. And the other day, things said, you know what? I can fix this front door. So for secondhand September, he has boarded up the front door, taken the front door off, and he's removing all the glass and will be changing the front door and finishing it. Now, having said that, in his youth, he was very good at, at little projects like this. He takes a long time, but when they're finished, they look amazing. And we both said, well, if he really messes it up, we just go out and buy, you know, a front door, but we won't be paying $5,000. So yes, he is taking our old front door apart and making it new again. I have some before pictures. When he finishes it, which might not be till this time next year, I'll, um, I'll post some pictures and say, he finished the front door. Or I'll say, this is the new front door. He messed it up. So secondhand September has been a lot of fun. And I hope you congratulate the winners at the draw at the end of this video. And thank you to those ladies who really got into it in a big way and uh, made more than one item. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, take care of each other and prayers for all our friends in Florida that are doing it tough right now. Bye for now. Welcome to Secondhand September prize draw for participants. The first prize is a $25 gift voucher the second prize is a patent prize to the value of $5 and the third prize is a patent prize to the value of $5. You go on Ravelry, pick your prize and your patent and I gift you the patent. Now if you don't use Ravelry, I will look at Etsy, but I always have difficulty gifting patents on Etsy for some reason. Anyway, there were 11 participants. Some people did more than one project, but I've just given everybody one entry. I've written their names down in my book and I have numbered them 1 to 11 and I put the numbers on the wheel at random. So here goes our first patent prior $25 gift voucher winner. Number 6, my lucky number. Karen Ann Allard, number six. You have won yourself a $25 gift voucher. I'll just make note of that so I remember who wins what. Can you please email me to claim your prize and we will work out what sort of gift voucher you would like. So for our first patent prize to the value of $5, Number 10, Ashley Reese. Ashley, you've won yourself a $5 a patent price to the value of $5. If you could email me to claim your prize and tell me whether you can go on Ravelry to uh, pick a pattern. I'll just write down first pattern prize. Ashley Reese. Okay. For our third and final draw for a $5 patent prize. Number seven, Demetria. Oh, I'm going to have to put the names at the end because I really can't pronounce the surname. I'm not sure I'm getting the first name right. Demetria, you have won yourself a $5 pattern prize. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for taking part in Secondhand September. I wish I could give everyone a prize, but I can't. But to those who've won... Make sure you congratulate them. It was great that everybody participated. Thank you. Until next time, bye for now.